welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome thank you so much for joining me today as you guys can see and tell by the title I have some new hair that I'm bringing to you guys today and in today's video specifically I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install my lace wig with only leaving out my natural baby hairs I will be using the got to be glue method to install this wig but I have done this with ghost bond before so if you guys are interested in just installing your wigs but still leaving out your baby hairs then you can still use all the steps that I use in today's video and just use whatever glue of your choice I am gonna go ahead and start off by unboxing this wig before I install it and then I will let you guys know at the end of the video kind of like my thoughts on the wig and show you the hair a little bit more as always I will have everything linked down below with the specs to this wig the information on it will be listed down below as well as the direct link to this wig in case you're interested I'll also have my Instagram link down below if you want to follow me over on there and if you guys are wondering I am wearing a pair of contacts today that are from TTBI I do have a coupon code with them in case you guys want to just save some money you can use that and I'll also have these linked down below if I can figure out which style they're in because I honestly just picked like a random pair from my collection and I don't have them like labeled or anything but they are like a pair of these blue contacts that kind of fade to yellow but they are a little bit more subtle than some of their others but we're gonna go ahead and just jump into the unboxing so this wig is from Desor hair and they sent me the wig in this beautiful purple box that has their logo on the front as well as their website on the back of the box it has some hair care and some wig info and tips and then when you open the box up you can see that they sent over a red beautiful satin bonnet and they also sent over a pair of eyelashes which is nice because these actually look like a style that I will be wearing and getting some use out of. It did go ahead and include a hair knot around the wig as well as the white tissue paper to help keep its shape inside and as you guys can see this wig is a lace front wig. There is lace from ear to ear and there is a pretty deep parting space and lace space on this wig there's a little bit of lace in the back and there are adjustable straps in the back as well as a comb in the back and two combs on the side and as you can see the hairline on this wig is already pre plucked and really natural I did not go ahead and bleach the hairline pluck the hairline or do any customization to this wig and this is a 20 inch wig and the hair is straight as you guys can see this hair is extremely 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 soft and it has so much movement and body to it it is just so smooth and I've been running my fingers through it literally ever since it came out of the box to prepare the wig for installation I did go ahead and just put it on my wig head and I did go ahead and create a part that I like I just put some mousse and use some clips and hair ties to kind of hold this and form it into place and I just let this set till it dry in the morning while I was like showering and everything before I went ahead and installed the wig and I did go ahead and just braid my hair under the wig and I did go ahead and sew up the braids in the back because I didn't want to actually put a wig cap on I find that the lace always just looks such a weird color when I put on wig caps the wig caps never actually match my skin tone correctly so I wanted to install this wig without a wig cap and I did go ahead and push down the baby hairs that I do want to keep out and not have glue down I did go ahead and take some of this hairgasm deep conditioner and I did go ahead and just put this on my baby Hairs and in the area to just help them be a little more smooth and soft and then I am going ahead and taking the got to be glue like I mentioned and I am going to be applying three layers of this on my hair so I am going to be just putting this directly behind the baby hairs that I left out and I'm putting a generous amount and smoothing it down with my finger from ear to ear and I'm letting this dry all the way down to clear before I apply the next layer and I am going ahead and doing this three times. On the third and final layer, I am going ahead and I am going to start applying the wig before it completely dries all the way, all the way down. But I am waiting until it gets mostly clear. And I did go ahead and cut the lace off in the back of the wig, but not in the front. I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig on and pull the lace forward and try to start setting it into place. The glue is still a little bit too wet for me in this process, so I did go ahead and start by just holding it down. Um, and I had to hold it down for a while off camera until the glue got a bit more tacky and then I did go ahead and take the got to be glue spray glue and use this as well to kind of just really push down and start to apply the lace I'm going ahead and applying a scarf 
once this is a bit dry to help this just set into place. I am going ahead and taking some scissors and cutting some of that excess lace out of the way because I was in the middle of doing my makeup while I was installing this wig as well. But I am going to go ahead and cut down the lace a little bit more closely. I went ahead and let this set for a while and then I am going to go ahead and take some scissors and cut the lace a bit more close to the hairline behind where my baby hairs actually are. When I took the scarf off, you'll see that in some areas the glue really holds down the hair and kind of gels it down. So I like to just hold on to the lace and take my rat tail comb and just comb the hair up. I move in different directions to just literally comb the hair from being glued down. And I will go ahead and just wet the rat tail comb or wipe it off if there's a little bit of glue residue being collected. I did go ahead and do this off camera so I could get really close to the mirror and really do this accurately, but just go ahead and cut the lace right behind the hairline, right behind your baby hairs where you want the wig to start and to fall. And then after I did this, there was a bunch of the lace that was not really set down, so I am going ahead and repeating those steps with the got to be glue. I'm not doing three layers, I'm just doing one layer, but I am doing a pretty generous layer. Again, off camera, I just waited until this really dry down to clear and then I did go ahead and take like my rat tail comb and push the lace down into place and again let that sit and dry a little bit longer until I then applied the scarf again to let this all just really sit and I took my time with this process and I definitely recommend you do too if you want to speed it up you can go ahead and use a blow dryer in between all of these steps again I was doing my makeup and other things in the meantime of installing this wig so I did go ahead and really just take my time and let everything really set until I moved on to the next step I decided to move on to the baby hairs so I am going ahead and just taking a two toothbrush that I use for my baby hairs all the time and I am going ahead and wetting this a little bit so that I can get a little bit of movement in the hair and start to shape it how I want so again I'm using my natural baby hairs, so they're kind of already gonna shape into how I want them to but I'm just taking the water and the toothbrush and just swooping them into place and then I am going to be going ahead and taking the gotcha be glue and gelling them into place and just really working them how I prefer same as always, I am going ahead and applying a scarf once I have everything where I want so that it can set into place. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and add some layers into this wig. Being that it is just a straight 20 inch wig, I did want to go ahead and just add a little bit of layers around the face just to frame it. So I am going ahead, as you guys can see, and just taking the hair that's in the front and I'm just taking my scissors and I am just slightly adding some layers to help add some shape. I'm just doing this, as you guys can see, in the front sections of both sides. And then I am going to be going ahead and taking my hair straightener and just bumping the hair everywhere because there were some, like, crimps and clamps for me having the hair tied up throughout the installation process and just how the wig was. So I am going ahead and just bumping everything and going over everything with my straightener. And then once I took off the wig... Everything was laying really nice, but the lace area was still a little bit too white and kind of noticeable. And you can see like the glue and stuff a little bit, I felt like. So I am going ahead and just taking some eyeshadow. I'm mixing some shades from this contour palette I have as well as this eyeshadow palette. And I'm just taking this little brush and adding this all around the hairline to help make the lace look more like my skin complexion. And that is basically everything that I did to install this wig and style it. And I'm obsessed with how this is looking. This hair is just extremely soft and has so much movement to it. And I've been wearing mostly like wavy and curly wigs. So I'm not used to like being able to run your fingers completely through your hair. I'm so happy with how this wig is looking. And you guys know my hair is extremely curly and I'm used to just fluffing it around and scrunching it up. But this wig is so soft and the hair is so straight and silky that I'm able to just run my fingers through it. As I mentioned, this wig isn't 20 inches and I believe it's true to length. I did go ahead and cut off, I would say probably like an inch, but the wig does come like below my chest level. I will say that in terms of density, this wig is not the thickest wig. But being that the hair is straight and that it is in like this 20 inch length in this style, I really, really am happy with how the density is and how this wig looks because I feel like if it was any thicker, it would look kind of wig-like. 
but being how the density is and the style of this wig and how I bump the ends, I, this reminds me of when I used to get like Dominican blowouts. And if my hair was just this length, I feel like this is exactly what it would look like. So I'm personally really, really happy with this style, the density, and how the hair and wig looks all together. As you guys can tell, I cannot stop looking in the mirror behind the camera and touching this wig so you guys can see that I'm extremely happy with this wig. Personally prefer to install my wigs like this directly behind my hairline and leave my baby hairs out a little bit. I find that for me it's just a little bit easier to install while also making the wig look natural. It's also easier for me to style like day to day to just like revamp the baby hairs and it is a better way for me to customize my wig and feel more comfortable in it. Let me know down below if you guys agree and if you guys like how this wig looks installed behind my hairline and you guys like this method or you try it out be sure to let me know I would definitely recommend this wig overall I think the quality of the wig cap in the lace is really, really good I love how much parting space there is with this wig as you guys can see I was able to create this really deep and curved part and I didn't have to bleach the knots or pluck the hairline or even pluck this part I just put some mousse in it and parted it and let it just set into place. I did go ahead and just put some eyeshadow in the parting as well, but it looks really natural as you guys can see, and being that there is so much parting space and lace from ear to ear, I feel like this wig is really versatile, and you can definitely style it in a bunch of ways. My camera has already died in the middle of this video once, and it's about to die again, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. As always, I will have everything and the specs on this wig linked and listed down below in the description box. I will also be doing another video with this wig so you guys can get a better look at it and I'll style it in a different way or maybe a few different ways so let me know down below what style you guys would like to see me do with this wig. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, I'll have it linked down below as well. I have recently done a giveaway over there and I'll be doing more in the near future so be sure to follow me over there and if you made it to the end of the video, I love you so much, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Mwah. Bye guys!